Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another at home piercing video, which I'm sure many of you will be excited about because these videos do tend to do the best on my YouTube. Before I get started, I feel like I should give a little bit of context because if you've been watching my channel for at least a few months, you're gonna be a little bit confused why I'm doing an at home piercing video. So around September last year, I started a professional piercing apprenticeship at a studio local to me. And I announced that on my channel, meaning I wouldn't really be doing any piercing at home videos. Turns out I ended up leaving that apprenticeship quite recently. So I'm no longer a professional piercing apprentice. This was due to many different factors, but yeah, I'm no longer doing it professionally at the moment. I do have intention of maybe starting a different apprenticeship at a different studio at some stage or maybe even doing a piercing course and then taking that qualification to a studio however at the moment there's nothing in the works i haven't been actively looking for a new opportunity in it doesn't in any way mean that i don't have interest in it anymore i still absolutely love the art of body piercing hence me still piercing myself and showing you guys but yeah i felt like i should just clear that up in case people started commenting being like why are you piercing at home when you're now professional on to today's video as you can see in the title i pierced my own eyebrow this is the third time i've had an eyebrow piercing i had my eyebrow pierced first of all back in 2020 had it for a few months got bored of it took it out and then i had it again a few weeks ago when i was still working at the studio as an apprentice but it wasn't done correctly so i had to remove it so i decided to re-pierce it myself and it went really well pain wise i've always found eyebrow piercings to be very very easy it's very similar to a load piercing in my opinion it's just kind of like a little pinch but like the skin on your eyebrow is so soft that the needle just kind of slides through. I have done an eyebrow piercing on someone else before, quite a while ago now, but I was still kind of nervous to do it because it just felt like it might be a little bit complicated. But luckily where I still had the scar from my oldest one, I just marked it in pretty much the same place. Moved the bottom one slightly because I wanted it a little bit higher up. But other than that, I just pretty much pierced through the same place as before. I'm really happy with the final result. The only thing that's changed since the footage that you're about to see is I pierced it with a bar that was slightly too short for healing. I pierced it with an eight millimeter, the same bar that I'd been pierced with at the studio I used to work at. It got quite swollen. It didn't really have any room to move. Eyebrow piercings do tend to swell quite a lot and also bruise. They also get caught very easily. So that can also kind of irritate them and prolong healing. So anyway, I'd had it for a couple of days. And then this morning I woke up and it was a little bit bloody around the top. So I decided to put a 10 millimeter bar in instead, obviously cleaned it and everything. So in the footage you're about to see it had the size bar in that i will put in once it's healed hence why it looked a little bit tighter but for now it's got a 10 millimeter bar in just so that it's got room to move and that way it can swell and heal properly anyway i've been rambling for too long i'm gonna let you watch the footage of me piercing my eyebrow but either way i hope you enjoy and i'll see you guys soon <laughs> 